Any more questions or need any information? Appreciate it. What was your What was your name? Uh, Ralph King. King. I'll give you a. You got a card. Okay. Or, yeah. yeah. That'd be yeah, great. Yeah, it's good. We we had one training exercise with um, scenario kind of like this where we we would just escort you guys into the the, the orange zones they call it or whatever. But it was it was good uh, good training. You know, like just a little bit we had. And it just, you know, so I'm glad you guys showed up. I honestly I was expecting it sooner. I, I didn't know what was taking so long. I was getting really frustrated because we had probably close to 700 people from the concert just came this way here and then trying to figure out who to triage first and all that was madhouse i was like please god fire's coming right and i kept asking and it took me it, it i don't know how long it took me but probably um it seemed like forever to get medical even to come here and then they were just taking one person at a time and i'm like no I'm like, we don't take that guy with a gunshot to the arm. Fucking take the guy with a gunshot, the sucking chest wound right here. And the guy over here with, like, one through and through his back, you know, like. And I'm like, pile him in there. Just get him the fuck in there. Get him out, you know. And yeah, then, so did you start having your police cars bringing them down? I, I had, uh, what we had right here is, at first it was so chaotic. The whole street was filled that we just, everybody pulled over. And I had everybody just sitting down here. Anybody that was shot sat right there. Any, anybody that was not shot, I told them to keep moving to Hooters. And so once they got uh, sitting down here, that's when I had a couple of uh, off-duty medical and uh, a couple of police officers come to me like, what do we do? I'm like, start triaging. Boom, from here down uh, for anybody that needs immediate, like, tourniquet shit. And I just started throwing my equipment. Like, we have one little uh, go bag. So there's a camel bag you probably see on the ground. Yeah, you know what? We actually have one on the back of our truck. It's all from police car. Yeah, that, those so are just the go bags. We, I think we ripped open at least seven or eight of those, and I just started grabbing packing gauze, and, and, and I was like, apply pressure if it's not a squirter, like an arterial bleed. Then don't don't fucking tourniquet it, just pack and wrap it. And as soon as uh, as soon as that was depleted, I was like on the radio probably five times. Like, I need more equipment and I need more people. So I I don't know. We had our truck and an engine and one ambulance at the corner of the Cobalt and Trop. Yeah. And it was just a fucking pandemonium. Yeah. There yeah. Was, I mean, there's probably like 15, 20. I figured the the ones that were that we were getting mostly were the arms and the legs. And I was like, okay, so if that's the case here, then we need to clear this way as far as possible because... Yeah, he got lucky because uh, we... Oh, oh, a lot of the guys, I'll be honest, a lot of the guys were coming up with truckloads and I said, we are, we have no more medical, we have no more equipment here. I said, take, you know where Sunrise is? And they're like, oh, I'm like, there was 12 people in the car. I said, get a cell phone out, type in Sunrise, go. Like... You know, and that's what they were doing. I don't. Next. Yeah. So one of the and they were starting to come up to the ambulances and trying to throw people in. I'm like, no, 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 no. Uh, one one guy, um, you know, it was just it was a mess. Like they were doing CPR on that that lady down there in the middle of the roadway for like ten minutes, and I could not get them to move. Her. I'm like, finally, I was like, dude, she's gone. We cannot stop. There's medical ambulance that need to get through. We can't stop traffic. We've got to get her out. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Like you said, at least 20 probably in there. And I mean, I tell you. 18 in. I don't know what canine's doing right now for like cadaver dogs and shit, but I I, I don't know how many people we're gonna find in the walk through this area or or uh, people are gonna come out to their business and be like, hey, I have something in the bushes, or in their car. They get in their car to try and drive somewhere and they just bleed out and die. You know, so it's it, it's a mess. You know. Hey, Shaq. Uh, we're good. We got plenty of bodies right now. Everything's full four. We just uh, we're out with the three four nineteens and a uh, uh, four team of the FDE. So if anything else pops up here, we're good. But uh, yeah, we're just. It doesn't sound like anybody's coming anytime soon for these these That's three that we have here. here. Um, but we like us. What's that? Just want to make sure the command. Who's who's that? that Is I that? Uh, yeah, I've got two of your guys out here. DP, uh, one Mary, 40-something bike. Yeah, they're good. Uh, they're actually... Yeah.
All right, dude. I've I've never I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is crazy. Uh, but um, yeah, I, we probably triaged close to 300 people here. Seems like just unbelievable. So. No, yeah, the only thing, you know, you could have done maybe is go right to a CP or start a CP somewhere where, where you know, but I mean, that's, that's what I did is I couldn't get on a radio because the active shooter, we could hear all the shots in the background. I just switched right over to, I, I switched to Southeast. I said, I'm on your channel. I'm starting up a, uh, a staging area for medical at Reno and Haven. And, uh, you know, I'm taking this channel for a minute until we can figure out another one. And she's like, go to admin. So I just switched over and uh, I, I pretty much stayed on admin the whole time. But, um, No, mass, mass pandemonium, dude. Yeah. Yeah, no, you, you definitely, like, uh, the only thing I wish I, I, I could have gotten a little better on was uh, getting better. Um, uh, you can't cross here. Getting getting better uh, information. I know they were saying you're shooting from Andalay Bay, and somebody said don't come down the boulevard. Uh, so a lot of us pulled over right here at Reno and Haven thinking we'd be going on foot to the concert thinking that's where the active shooter was, but then with the updates coming from Andalay Bay, we're like, well, shit, maybe they're shooting down at the concert, so we're no good here other than triaging and getting people out of the way, so. Uh, all right, well, I got to let you go. I got somebody else calling me. All right, bye. Hello. Hey, Brandon. I am at uh, Reno and Haven with... Uh, yeah, you guys come. Okay. All right, you got the whole squad, or is it just you guys? Ingstrom. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Okay, copy. So many years that do not have assignments that Return. Return to the TV. I fucking feel so bad in this guy right now. Control 344, just be advised. We, uh, we had a couple guys from Four Seasons in the boulevard. We're going to need somebody here to uh, make sure these people coming off of. Uh, West on the one north on the forward. Three four four after I've got one seven five stand easy here. It should uh should suffice for now. Damn it. Control six by six. Six by six. Have we determined where family members of the deceased victims are supposed to go? Hey. You guys need to stay down there with those bodies. Don't leave those bodies. If you need to go somewhere, let me know. CP control are you able to advise? Okay, nobody over there. Control in William 33. At this point, we're sending family members to uh, headquarters. 656, Control 786, just confirming they want uh, the victims, uh, family members, to go to headquarters. Yeah, I've got 3419 over at my location. Uh, I don't think they're going to want to leave. White truck. Ah, uh, he's probably trying to wheel his way out. Hey, there's another car. The homicide. Who's?
Hey, who, who are you guys with? Okay, so you guys are good here if you're going to watch that. Uh, and then if you guys want, I just need, because these cars keep kind of sneak through these little apartments right here. Uh, just have somebody right down the road from the FD. Just make sure nobody comes down this way. Um, and then I want to make sure those Mary bikes know that they got those other two 419. So I just lock it down until homicide comes. It's going to be a while. You guys good? Okay. You can sit, hey, you can sit right there in your car or whatever. Um, I think a traffic sergeant in the station area. Go get my traffic layers off. Hey, if you guys want to get the keys to this car and just sit, uh, sit in it, like if you want to, you know, park the car so you can see. My, my fear is that somebody's going to walk in on the other side of the fence right there or whatever. I just want you close to get, hey, get the fuck out, you know, or whatever. Um, Oh, I, in a perfect world, I guess we could have moved moved it, you know, closer. But, um, yeah. I mean, you guys did what you thought was right, and obviously there's a family morning here, and to bring another one. Yeah. No, you guys are you guys are all right. So, I just um, I don't want anybody coming over and fucking with anything, you know. You guys are good. Like I said, if you want to get into a vehicle or just take turns sitting down for a little bit, sit there, I don't give a shit, you know, like, just as long as you got, one of you guys got an eye on. Hey, if one of you guys want, like I said, if one of you guys want to sit in the car for a little bit, I don't have a problem with it. As long as one of you guys are out here, just make sure nobody comes through, so. Yeah. 1967? Yeah, you got the whiteboard, did you? Whiteboard on top of a hood, no. Uh, yeah. Do you know where the rest of the squad is? I just want to make sure everybody's alright, so I just sent out a group text. Everybody seemed like they got back and said so they were okay, but we rally up together if we can. Uh, if, if anybody's done with their post, just have them go back to. I don't have my phone. I left my phone. Okay. The room. All right. They, they, whoever they're under should be telling them to go back to CP. You so. If you give me your phone, I'll just start calling them all and finding out where they are. Yeah. I didn't. I just came from the CP. I didn't see anybody over there. And then they, their number should be saved. Or there's a group text I have on yeah, there. Yeah, I'll go to the. Okay. If you want to go back group text, and that one right there. Yeah. And then you just back out. Gonna be. Uh, is it oh, that for strike one? Is that group text? No, no, Jacob, that's just him. One member that's of right. That one right there is the one I think I was using. Yeah. yeah. If you guys need water or anything, there's water right there. You can start with Aaron, they'll all start calling you. Find out where they're at. You got your notepad? Uh, not yeah, notepad? Do you guys get in okay? Okay. Patrol, this is uh, strike team one, one of the officers inside the showroom. It looks like it's post four lines back on the scene. We, we may have had somebody that was just uh, yelling the cars on the scene. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey, There might be blood all over in there, no? Okay. okay. Oh, just a little bit right there? That was approximately 300 men late May for a I want to stay here, here for you to get the hell out. We'll tell them
Mandalay Bay. They They're locked down. Bay, but, okay. Yeah. okay, I heard that. Uh, oh. Here's that lead. Uh, yeah, man. Doug King, I'll find out where King's at. Yeah, he technically okay. got separated yeah, from his tree, but I think the milk picked him up. They have over 20 killed in it. Like, I know, we, yeah. were, we, were, we yeah. just came from there. And then, um, the, uh, I guess they have a gas lead or something, but... And who's with you? From, is anybody from our squad with you? Excellent. Thank you, Company. There's, there's a deceased metro officer. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, we're just, I'm just here with Sarge. We're trying to get a rundown of where everybody from our squad's at. Okay. Okay. Oh, is that the other trainee? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I might uh, I might see these guys need to ride over to HQ because that's where they're sending all the victims to. And, and uh, I've got blood in the back of my car. Yeah, I think everybody does. We're uh, are you? I, if you're, we're gonna go back to the CP change. Is that right? I've, I've been told by. Yeah, if you're uh, okay from CP, that's okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Hello. Yeah, just call me when you're done, Cole. Hey, sir, how are you? Okay. And then, um, right right now, uh, what time are we looking at getting out, you think? I mean, obviously not anytime soon, but... Okay. We might just work straight through then. Um, hey, real quick question, sir. I've got uh, the 3419s over here. We probably triaged, I don't even know how many people, but uh, if, if they don't want to leave to go to HQ, uh, you know, are they okay to stay here at the scene? I mean, I'm telling them it's going to be hours before, uh, you know, probably anybody gets over here to, to investigate this, but... Um, yeah, there's there's family that that brought their their loved ones over, and other ones we we were when we were triaging, three of them didn't make it. Uh, so those three are still here. Um, we've had FD confirm them. Uh, covered up. We've got officers on it and the scene locked down. But it's at right here in Reno and Haven, uh, which is kind of where we set up the mass casualty. Like I guess the. Um, so the only people left here are just the 419s and then two family members for, for one of them. Um, yeah, I think it's HQ, but uh, I, I didn't uh, I didn't have an officer really available to, to send them over there with the uh, um, with the family. So is there a, a transport that we can have that maybe could get them over there? Okay. Sure. Okay, so 1,800 uh, were calls for service, right? Okay, sir. All right, thank you. Bye. Hey, sir. Hey, um, so radio was updating uh, us on uh, what they're trying to do right now is have all the victims, uh, re relatives of the victims, uh, go to police headquarters. Um, I, I know you said you don't want to leave, and I'm, I'm not going to make you do anything, but I'm telling you, uh, they're going to have the information on uh, um, who to talk to, what's going on, what's next. They're going to have all that information I was telling you about and that support there with the other family members, and there's probably a lot of good information. Um, I, I can guarantee you we're not leaving this place. We've got it all locked down. Um, so, you know, it, it could be... It could be tomorrow evening before they, you know, finish up everything. I'm not saying it's going to take that long to come uh, retrieve what's here. But I don't know a time frame for you. And just to sit here, uh, you know, I, I, would, I would probably just say go there, police headquarters, let them know that your, your family member was one of them in, in, the, in the scene and, and where to go. And they're going to have uh, support there, probably food and water, and they're going to have resources there for you to talk to, okay? Um, did anybody get the information? Um, Okay, from you. Okay, let me get that real quick. Uh, and if, if that's something we're going to need, to over, I can try to work that out for you guys to have a ride. Okay.
Yeah, I won't be able to get that for a while. Okay, what what is uh, what is your your name? Um, and that's her purse and her belongings? Just let you know in a moment. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what else she has on her. I don't think. Um, don't so don't worry about it. We're going to take care of you. Um, but you're not a man in there, man. I'm telling you. We're, we're going to... They, they are, are, are so overwhelmed, and um, it's critical to the investigation uh, that, that, you know, they just do it in sequence of, of how it goes. So, um, you know, that's, that's where we're at with it. But... Um, you know, we're, we're here. We're not going anywhere. Um, if there's anything else going on where you're like, okay, let's leave and come back, I mean, you're more welcome to come back here. Um, you know, but I can tell you right now, it doesn't sound like anybody's coming over um, too fast. Let me talk to my, my captain real quick, sir, okay? We'll get you a ride. Hey, Captain. Hey. Um, so I just talked to him. He's, he's willing to go now uh, uh, back to HQ if we can get a transport for him. His wife is right there. Um, his wife, his yeah, it's his wife, his daughter, and uh, they've been here. We we probably triage. I don't even know how many people, but uh, the three of them didn't make it. Uh, there's another one on the other side here, and another one over here. So yeah, three here. We have three here. Um, we probably I don't know how many uh, left and critical, so I don't know from that, but probably a few hundred people, I would say. Did you say how they got here? Did they run? This a lot of people, most of them when we got here and, and pulled over, it's because everybody was in the roadway screaming, howling. So we got out and we were told not to go down northbound from the boulevard because the shooter. So when we stopped here and we're tacking out, just it was one after the other, hey, I'm shot, I'm shot, I'm shot. So everybody, just, everybody was running up, mainly hands, feet, uh, a couple uh, sucking chest wounds and whatnot, a couple through and through through the, the chest. Uh, but those ones, we were able to, to have medical stays down there a little bit and just get them out quicker. But I, I think that... Um, Pretty much everything's taped off. Uh, we got officers watching uh, those two, and then, and then the family here. So the only thing really left is to get get them a ride down to HQ, and then just wait for uh, whatever you guys need from us. So the other two are around the corner. Yeah, one right here on that bush, um, and then there's one uh, in the back alley right there. I'll go with it. Yeah, I got I got it all right here. This is, uh, yes sir, Reno, and that's Haven. Uh, we cleared around these buildings the best we could, and then we took the, uh, the force team for FD through this area, and probably got about four more victims. Um, she was, I know she was brought up a lot uh, with, with family members carrying them and helping them. This one was actually, we had a patron that was taking her off in the truck back in there to get people. And and this is one that didn't make it. Um, they brought them out. The truck. Yeah, the truck. Yes, the, the guy with the truck, and it was just random people dropping off uh, victims. Uh, so for whatever reason, when he backed in, he he uh, just, there's a bunch of family right here. He he dropped off back there. So. Yeah, we we do have three over here. At, Reno and Haven. Where did you, uh, you guys were in the dirt lot of the church, right? Is that where? Uh, I didn't see the church over there. We were uh, just north of that church. 
you guys went. There's a fence right there that blocks up your lot, but it looks like someone just ran it over. Did you guys go into down Haven to get over? Yeah, or? Haven. Yeah. Very end of Haven. Right before you get to the dirt lot, there's a, there's a parking lot right there. Okay. And it was to the white truck right there. She was, she was in the white truck. By herself? Yeah. Uh, her, she was there with a bunch of people. There was a bunch of people over there. Nobody knew her? Nobody said anything? No, nobody knew her. They just said, hey, she's, she's 419. All right. Okay. There's three wounded as well. Sure. Okay. So it was a parking lot that was north of the concert, pretty much, from Haven. And what's the other street down there, do you know? I, I Just end of Haven on the right-hand side. Yeah. yeah. On the, on, when you go down Haven right here, yeah. it's on the left-hand side. Make left-hand side. And there's yeah. a white Ford or Chevy? Uh, I, yeah, it's white pickup. Okay. So this one right here, these two officers, uh, when they were down there trying to evac people and get the injured out, because we were kind of having everybody bring them here to treat uh, and uh, that one was down behind a truck. There was random people with her, but nobody knew her. So, well, it's female. Uh, female. I think female and, and female. Yeah. We got like 20 inside. What about officers' lives? Uh, anybody? Uh, no officers. Um, killed. We had number two that was shot. Sure. Oh, I thought you were talking about Clarkson's. I'm like, Brandon? Casey? Yeah. It was Casey? Yeah, Casey. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Brandon's like one of my, my good, good buddies. We went to the academy together. Yeah, so fuck. Brandon, he suited up and went into uh, South Central. Yeah. Anything he supposed to just had the back oh, surgery. No, yeah. He's he's like, like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah. He goes, I'll, I'll, I'll do something. Yeah, I'll go in and see if you go. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. He's going to be all right, though? Yeah, but they left the shrapnel with him. They tried out his carotid artery. I'm not real crazy about that. No, yeah. That'll be able to... Yeah. Uh, I'm sure they'll look at it later. They had so much other stuff going on. Yeah, it's a little, a little busy tonight. So, yeah. But I think maybe tomorrow. We'll Lots of prayers for Casey, then. Jeez. Yeah, I just got down here from northeast. I was I was up there working here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that, they said graveyard. I'm like, I'll take it. Okay. Okay. You know, it's a good good group of guys. So these guys fucked up because uh, you know we were in briefing, dressed already to go, and when it came out, so like thank God it happened during briefing time. You know, because people cut out, and then we would be half the, the, the manpower we were. Um, yeah, the lieutenant just called us and said, we're AB roster, and we uh, we start work at 1800 tomorrow. I'm like, well, that's about the time we'll be getting off, so that makes sense. Yeah, we're going to be in the days. Yeah. That's why I told the family member. I don't know, sir, if you want me to get on there and ask for a transport or, or uh, most of my guys here, I'm kind of using them to, to block off the scene. Yeah, I just talked to him, uh, Randy. He's going to get some money on here. In the corner, it's full of uh, people that came from that. out there at the venue. Just confirming where I'm going to sit. So we'll try to get somebody over here to get, okay. get I'll, these cleaned up. I'll just ask CP to uh, to have him send for, for two family members and see if they can meet us here. Okay. That would be good. Yeah, that would be good. It's funny, my whole squad left and I left right there with them and somehow I ended up with everybody not on my squad right here. <laughs> it's funny. All, all the uh, family members of the victims is what I've been told. That's where camera, uh, she was turned away at one of the roadblocks. So if anybody can let her through. Good, let Casey know Everett says hi and hope he does. All right. Is there a number to the CP? Two thousand that they're going back to pick up the remainder. 
what they're telling me. 